Yes, hello. So, I said maybe I will do a video about mounting a computer. Well, because I do videos, I've bought this thing here. Yeah? That's now just a case. Okay, This is now just a case. And I bought several other stuff, which is there. Yeah, And then I hope I can really, 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 really easily do my video editing. Yeah? I have not done this, I don't know, I don't know when the last PC, when I bought the last PC I screwed together, <laughs> I simply don't know, I guess something has changed, so there was some manual with this case here, and I guess those guys know what they're writing, so I will stay at this manual. And make it in this order. I think probably this would be a good idea. Why I'm doing this? Because I like I like this video editing and so on. However, my laptop here is a little bit weak for this, especially if we have several HD streams and so on. Then, hmm. so I tried to buy a PC which is capable of doing this, and ended up at. 4,000 euros. So, ah, no. And then I made the mistake to look up the components and think what could I do. And then I ended up at around 1600. So, ah, now it's here. <laughs> so, benefit of this, we can screw this together. We can put this together, 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 together. So I will do this. This video will have cuts for sure, because I'm sure I will use some swear words during mounting. And yeah, these are not for public. It's just my personal relief. Good. Let's start. Okay, so let's start mounting the thing. Mm, open it. Uh, open it. Uh, maybe. I'll put it down. Come here. I will remove all these covers. They are magnetic. Woo! I will use them afterwards. Because up to now, I guess they are just, I'll just loose, loose them. Yeah. Yeah, two screws. Put them here. Maybe. Now it's better, I think. Ah, ah. Open. Okie dokie. Let's see. Ooh. Stuff inside. Quite some cables. Mm -hmm. Mounting things. Fan connections. Oh. Let's see. Look different some years ago. Uh -huh. This is something should stay in it seems at least it's glued so what they say what they say must happen first first open side panel <laughs> second HDD HDD second is HDD okay well why not okay this is nice we do have some frames which I, we can simply pull out yeah. Uh -huh. Can adapt a little bit to the side. Okay, so HDD must be here somewhere. At least this is what I remember that I put it here. I bought two HDDs. Actually, I bought two HDDs. This one I bought, this is a magnetic HDD. Yeah, 
hard disk drive magnet magnetic style uh, but for the system I also bought a second one yeah for the system I bought this one yeah. so these are the two things magnetic and this is an SSD with another form factor yeah we will this is then directly mounted to the to the so-called main board okay yeah. And you see the size comparison. This is one terabyte here. If I can open it. Ah, here. This is the SSD, one terabyte. And this here is six terabyte. Uh, this is six terabyte of magnetic stuff. And now there's already the first thing. I hope I will mount it the correct way since I'm not entirely sure. How is this here? Okay, yeah, I thought already. How about it this way? So we have to screw it. We have to put it in this way. Ah, now this thing makes sense because I can pull it apart. Put the hard drive in, there are holes or there are notches, noppen, stiefel, and this will be screwless. Ooh, look at that, look at that. Put it in, shall I put it in the lower frame or in the upper frame? I'll put it in the, in the lower frame because I think then maybe ah. should I put it closer to the main board? Ah, always those details, always those details. I'll keep it now. That's good. Yeah. Check. Point two three E. What is it? Secure it by using E screw. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Secure. Mm -hmm. Does make sense. Does make sense. This screw here. The and here. Aha! Now it also makes sense that we mounted this first because I guess here the. Was on this side I have to secure it? Well, I will do. Because here, at this area, there will be the, the power supply. And I guess then I would need fingers of a of an mechanic guy yeah, who is repairing the cars. They need some special fingers. Sometimes I have the feelings. Uh, if this makes sense here. Yeah. What do you feel? I feel a screw. I feel I'm screwed. <laughs> good. Good, good. I'm satisfied. Looks firm. Three, check. Four power supply unit. Psu. Psu. Let's make a psu. I bought this one. I thought this is the same brain as the as the case. I thought, why not? Mm -hmm. Why not? Open this. What is inside there? Oh. Oh. <laughs> These those things are really heavy. Yeah. Back in the time, it, everything was so light, and now... Oh! Well, some cables. There are some cables. From here. And there is the power supply. What is this? Also, some accessories. What is below here? Ah! Cable. And yet another cable. And here we've got the power supply unit. 
And there is also a letter for me, probably written. Thank you very much for using our equipment. You're welcome. I was not sure how how much power I should use with them. Uh -huh. Ooh, big fan. Hmm. Probably it should face downwards because here are ventilating, ventilating things. Hmm. Just put it in or what? Aha, they need to be screwed from the back. Uh, don't scratch it. And, okay. Okay, dokey, little chokey. Does not look too bad. Looks really if it would fit. Should I first plug those things in? The stuff here? Not? There's probably a reason. There's probably a reason why it's pluggable. So I will not plug it in. I don't know. Hmm? So I need some screws again. I will take the screws which are part of the delivery of the of the power supply unit. Four pieces seems to fit exactly. Uh -huh. Okay, 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 okay. Put this away. Uh -huh. Try to mount it. Down, down again. Try to mount it here. Driver. Ta -da. One, two, three. Why only three? Three holes. I have to put it out again. To put it out again. One, two. At all. Here. Okay, I found the fourth. Screw terminal. I really now I see it also here. Like jumped. The alpha hit it. Here also. Okay. Okay, dokey. Looks like it would be firm. Looks like it would be firm. Yeah. <sighs> Six a four check. Five. Aha, uh -huh. screw them, yeah, check. Six, lead the ESP cable, EPS cable, EPS cable. Through the dedicated hole, EPS. Whatever this is, huh? Whatever EPS cable is. What's this? There's the fan here. Okay. These are the two fans. There's also written fan for whatever reason. What's this? Fan? Fan? Yeah, I'm a big fan. Uh, <laughs> HDD LED, 
Okay, what is this? Power switch. Reset switch. Good. What's this? Card reader, USB. Good. What's this? Nobody. Ah, audio. Okay. Audio. What is this? USB. Sports here. Good. Then probably the ESP cable is something of these things here. Oof. Aha, there are serial other boards. Maybe I should have looked inside before. ED serial other at the main board. There was a manual. There was a manual, right? I should have plugged it. Should have plugged it. It's a serial router. Of that I'm sure. CPU. Oh, CPU is in here. You can hear also I know. CPU. Oh, just look pretty much the same. No, not entirely. So this is something else. CPU. Okay, what is this? This was this was this. I started. I'm starting to think about. Aha, this is the same. This is the same, right? Ah, there are also these ones I know. These ones I know. Yeah. What's this? This looks like main port stuff. Uh, this is a huge connector. Yet another of those. Yes. I'll unscrew this again yeah. and mount the cables. I think I will do this. I'm sure I will do this. I'm sure. Are you sure? Yes, I am sure. We'll do this. I will simply do this. So, there's already something for you. Plug in. Plug in before you mount it. you cannot read. Okay, EDE serial router. I will use such serial router cable here. I guess it doesn't really matter which one. I will use this one in the middle because I'm pretty sure I cannot reach it. CPU PCI Express. I'm not sure how many of those things I would need. There's one written CPU, right? Labeled CPU. This is this one. So I will simply plug the CPU in here. This is good. Maybe it's not that good. Yeah, because I used the wrong connector. Yeah? Don't use four sides. Don't use the four sides. Then I will use these ones. Main board. Doesn't really matter. So one is, I guess, maybe two? I don't know. Where would I need one? Graphic card, probably. Probably the graphic card. This is this thing here. Graphics adapter. Yeah, this is making the picture. I bought here. Uh, not a top card. I bought a reasonable card for my usage. However, for the price of this one, you could get a whole console. Yeah. So it's not 
that cheap. Okay. Think about buy an Xbox or I don't know, maybe PlayStation. I don't really care. I'm not a fanboy. No? However, plug and play here. Aha, here we have one power connector. So we need one for the graphic adapter. Here you see, there's also one power connector. I'll put it back in, in the shielding. Also heavy. Man, dude. What happened? Hmm? What happened? Back in the time, computers were light white product. Meanwhile, you need to go to the studio. What's in there? Aha, so my doctor. Bust. So there is a CPU. I will simply use just the second one because I want to reduce the amount of cables in my yeah? should just use one. One. One at what is this? What's this? Here. Tacky. No. One is enough. One should be enough simply. And I will plug them here because hopefully I can reach in. And then I have this main board thing. This is also very convenient because it just fits at one place. This is good for me, good for the hands. What is this? Serial router. It's also serial router. Okay. Good. Now I have a bunch of cable attached. And enough power supplies. Ooh, that could. Ooh, that could really be a lot of power supplies. So the reason for this to be pluggable is simply to reduce the amount of cables. Also fine for me. Also fine for me. Screw it in again. Screw it in again. Ooh. So, schauen wir mal. One, two, three. One is missing. We'll be back again. We'll be back again. So screw it. Screw it once again. Get your lows. Should no me anna. Just like old times. Just like old times. Good. Let's see what we've got here. This is some power supply. This is CPU. Yes, CPU. This is probably what it means, this EPS cable. It seems like it should come out somewhere here. Okay. What is this? Aha, this is the serial other stuff. Sata, Sata, Sata. These I will simply put in here. Kick, 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 kick. Do a little bit cable management. A little bit cable management. Will be done. Mm. 
push it. Oh, it looks good. Should cover us. Good. And then they say somewhere here seems to be the ATX. Uh -huh, this is fitting perfect. Nice, nice, nice. Cable management we will do afterwards probably. Uh -huh. And this is this additional uh, power supply goes to the graphics cards, graphic cards, I will also, I will also put it here. Mm -hmm. Good. Next station, motherboard. Next station, motherboard. Take all those cables there, cable stuff. Head over. Open the other side. Port points of the of the main board. So what is a main board? This is a main board. Up to now we got only built in in our tower. Yeah, yeah. We only built in the power supply and one hard drive. A hard drive is for a computer nothing more than an input output element. Yeah. So just read from there or put there. But it's not nothing to do with the work of the computer itself. This is the main memory, the CPU, and in between we have the bus system. And this here is the thing which is in between. Okay, look at that. Wow, also heavy. Those things are a board. Back in the days, a board was. Now it's really, really heavy, I must say. Here we got it. Here we got the board. This is how this is looks. How this looks like. Let's open it. Interesting. A lot of stuff on, right? These are the memory banks here. Here the main memory can be applied. Here the CPU will be put in. Yeah, it's the power connector. Here is the the, the port for for uh, the graphics adapter. Back in here we have the the connectors. Uh, this thing that this is the fiber pin. What's in here? Bef Remove before starting. Play hard, stay silent. So no, this is. Ah, it was just this. Better. We'll see. And there are a lot of connectors. Really, really a lot of connectors. Fan, 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 audio. I guess we can manage. Down USB? No, no, zero dots. What's this? USB chip fan. Ah, this is this. Okay, it's already connected. Made in China. Whatever I plug in here. <laughs> I think it's working. I think it should work. Is there somewhere a fan for for the CPU? CPU fan. Here we've got CPU fan. Okay. Usually we also have some cables. Uh, data cables. 
Ah, this is what is actually. This is what actually makes the sound. This is not mounted quite well. What's underneath this cover? It's a cooler. It's a cooler for a hard drive. Because these things, these things are also on there. Yeah. Probably if a hard drive would be in, it would not shake that well. Ah, this is also shaking. Yeah. When I mount the hard drive, this will be better, I guess. Yeah. Let's hear if it makes a sound. Apropos hard drive. That's the hard drive. It already has some cooler. Yeah. Let's see if it really matters if I put it here or there. Uh, Lightning M2, what is under this hood here? Let's see. Just the same. Just the same. We'll see if I plug in the graphics adapter. Maybe. No. Does not really matter. Does not really matter. I can put it here or I can put it here. However, I would like to put it down here huh? because because then those two heat sources graphics adapter is a big heat source also this it seems like is a heat source so I want to put them apart I only have to find out if those two things are equally fast or if there is a benefit speed benefit if I'm using one or the other. There is a nice booklet. Mm -hmm. Tomahawk Wifey. French. Nice language. But I don't understand. Reset das Bios. Reset des Bios. Uh -huh. Deutsch. Oh, Deutsch also. I'll read the German version. It's my mother tongue. CPU fan, Sewer Ataha, yeah. CPU, push, push, push. He has written CPU and push, push. This means maybe here the chipset is involved and maybe here not. I put it here then. I don't want that. I will look up, I will follow up, okay? You have to, don't have to watch this. <laughs> so, it seems like the CPU uh, slot is much faster than the, or much faster. It seems to be the direct connection to the CPU. And here is the chipset. It's even labeled, I've noticed. It's even labeled, I've noticed. Here, when you open this, we can see chipset yeah. here we can see CPU. If we would have if I would have here not a PCI PCIe but a serial data, I would need to plug it here. But now I can also plug it here. So I'll we'll move it simply in here. Click. Now screw it. Screw it. <laughs> Just need the correct screw for this. Where have I put it? Just got it. Ah, oh, here. Yeah. These ones seem to be correct. Use a tool. You have never seen this. I've never did it. Looks good. So the chipset is connecting. These are the drivers, you know, the managers of the bus systems and so on. Here is the memory. Here is the CPU. To open the sucker, I open and close. Okay. Let's have a look at the CPU. This is the CPU I'm going to build in. 
a Ryzen, AMD Ryzen. Here we've got the CPU. Oh, there are a lot of small. How do I know how to plug this in? Aha, here are some some things missing. So I simply open this now. Take this out. Only grab the edges. Here is something missing. This belongs in that way. This should be the proper way. It should simply fill in. Yes, it was easy. It was easy. And now click. Good. Now this is mounted as well. This is the CPU. This is the core. Yeah. So there's the arithmetic logic unit inside. There are second level, first, second. Oh, there are a lot of cache level inside. And then I do have here the memories, yeah, memory banks. Uh, this one I will use. Those were mentioned on the hardware, on the CPU, or CPU, on the mainboard manufacturer's website as compatible elements. Yeah. Here we've got two of these things. Open, open those, okay. Also those are cool. <laughs> Something changed. Click clack. One memory. Put in the second memory. Now I have 16. 16 megabyte. Now it's 32. Now I will grab the second part. Now it's the next one. And the next one, then we should be at 64, 64 megabyte, ah, uh, megabyte, <laughs> it was also the old times, 64 gigabyte of RAM, CPUs in, I will not use the box cooler, I will use here my water cooling system. Just have to look before I screw this in and then mount my water cooling system and my my graphics card. I will have to look how I can mount this because this also changed a little bit. Well, we will see. We will see. Okay, for preparation of, of my cooling system, I need to give this mounting parts for this IMT socket. There is also a description. Uh, so we'll simply screw those brackets to the corresponding places for my water cooling system. Just have to find the correct screws. Probably these.
Emergencia, emergencia. Okay, so this should do the trick. Now we should be able to mount this also on the seat. There's a hole. All those other stuff which is included is for different type of sockets. Huh? Yeah, you see where your money is going. Okay, that should be the cooling part. There are also two fans. Do I have to mount? Do I have to mount the fans already? Do I have to mount the fans? Where are they? Here. I think it would be best to mount it here. If this is really true, I don't know. I do not know. You can use these. So not all the parts are for out the different sockets. <laughs> See, I hope this is now blowing the wind out, the outwards direction. I'll simply do both the same way, so either I have to change none or all, right? I'll screw it in that way, I think that's better. If this is really true, we are going to see them. The plugs should be on the back side. Let's open this up again. Okay, does look good, does look good, I think. <sighs> Let's grip the casing. Let's grip the casing once again. Okay, so here's the casing. Let's try to put in this water cooling system. Try to put it in that way. I think this should be, should do the trick. That way, is it? That way. Okay, doesn't look too stupid. Let's see if I can find the holes here. Huh? I found holes. Try to screw some things. Screwdriver must be also somewhere here. The only thing I can hope is that the mainboard is still fitting inside in this case. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. This one is fitting better, this screwdriver, for whatever reason. Okay, okay. Mounted. It's good, it's good. Put this out. Now. Now I have a different difficult task, I think, to get the mainboard in here. Get 
the main board. Here's the main board. I will try to fit it in. Try to fit it in. I grab through this hole here. screws here. Maybe we can screw them in afterwards. See if it can now manage better. Does it fit? Seems that way. Seems that way. I'm not sure if it's a perfect fit, but it's a fit. Okay. Now I just need some screws to fix this. Here are quite some screws. Crappy. Did not get better. Okay. Two more screws. Two more screws. I used the magnetic one. Slightly bigger one. Oh, this was a good hit. And the last screw is, of course, the worst one. The worst one. Did I did hit? Indeed. Unbelievable. It's fixed. This here. It's fixed as well. This here. It's fixed now. This here. Try to mount the CPU power supply. Hit it. 
This one is rather easy. Six screws in. Six screws out. I will additionally add some mounting foots here. This is the reason why I pulled all those things out again. Here, I want to have this more secure. So now I have just one issue. I have just seen there is a second connector called CPU power. CPU power 2. <laughs> Whatever this is. Whatever this is again. So what happened? One stream died. Unluckily, the stream with the audio. So we only have the top view of me screwing this together, but we don't have live audio. Yeah. So I decided to make some commented version. So we will watch this together and I will make my comments. And I can also tell you what I've learned at this particular moment. Yeah. So comment, audio comment track I'm going to do. By the way, this is now already done with my new computer. So in the end there is something which is working. Yeah? It's much more powerful than the old computer. Yeah? Multiple HD streams seem to be no issue. And also watching a video and commenting it, easy. Yeah? However, there is one thing, uh, the audio. Yeah? I'm not satisfied with the audio. I'm not sure because it's the same headset. But it's much noisier than before. Why? Eh, I'm working on it. Eh? However, we will see. Eh? So let's start. Let's watch this video together. Yeah? And then well, we will make a conclusion at the end of this very, very long thing here. Okay? I started up with the mainboard built in. Okay? So the mainboard was in. But this time without the cooler, yeah, without the, the water cooling system. Because it turned out that it is much easier to put the mainboard in that way. Yeah? 
I also mounted then the water cooling system and other way around. So the, the pipes are now at the other side of the water cooling system, the connectors. Okay? This has the particular reason because yeah, there is simply more room to connect this power connector on the other side of the, of the mainboard. This was really tiny and small at the beginning. Yeah? Of course it was a little bit difficult again to put on this the screws. Uh, I'm not that drain in this. Uh. Here and now enter the, the fans. Uh, one fan after the other. With these handy screws, this worked pretty well. So this is the optimal solution, I would say. First the mainboard, then the fans. Uh, even if the below screws are then not that nice to, to, to touch, it's better than the other way around. Uh, I see where I have some issues then. Getting in one one screw there. This is the situation where I struggled a little bit, you know, but it worked well afterwards. There's a little tiny cooler, uh, which is pretty much, pretty much blocking the hole, uh, but it fits, it fits. Here I check if uh, I can still connect the, the fan controller, uh, the fan plug, okay? and it should work also after screwing in those things. Worked. The below ones are really again a little bit fumbly, but yeah. like I said, much better than the other way around. Much better. Good. So now we have mounted the water cooling system. Okay. Now the power connector of the fan yeah, that I can control the fan speed. The motherboard can control the fan speed of course, not I. It's a Y cable, so usually there's only one uh, fan, but I've got two, so uh, there's a Y cable. I can connect both. Now this is the, the water cooling, the water cooled head, yeah? the cooler actually for the CPU. Check how to mount it, if I shall mount it this way or the other way, see how bent those, those tubes are, yeah? those hoses. It looks smoother somehow that way. Now for a good thermal connection I'm using uh, paste. Yeah? So this it's electrically isolating but thermically uh, the very conductive. Yeah? So I put on a little bit of this of this paste. Yeah? in order to, to cover the whole whole CPU once it's pressed. Yeah? It's like if you're using a glue. Uh, don't do it, don't add too much. Just that there is a small film between the cooler and the CPU surface. Yeah? And now I will remove the protective cover here that I have a metal 
pure metal plate and I try to put this on. This is now easier than back in the days because back in the days some Pentium CPUs you will really see have seen the die so the there is no casing. I was not very surprised that, to see that this Cooler Master sign is lit. I also realized there are LEDs, RGB LEDs on, on the mainboard, so it's also somehow illuminated for whatever reason. Yeah. Well, I don't have to understand everything. I don't need it. Yeah happened and I thought I have a cooling system without effect so <laughs> wrong I took the opportunity when I was mounting did not fit perfect to lift it a little bit and see if, the, if there's enough paste between and yes there was enough paste smoothly covered the whole surface and worked well Uh, after a while I got it firm uh, yes so now it's firm this is the connector of the of the pump uh, there is also a connection port at the at the main board so this is prepared for for water cooling I use it so this is the connection uh, now what is left what i'm fumbling around right now is uh, i'm searching for the cable yeah. there are a lot of cables in there yeah? there are cables you see the connectors now yeah there are the cables for the the headset connectors yeah you have the cables for the usb connectors there are cable for the leds there are cable for the reset and power switch so there are cables for the for the fan control there are cables for for the for this card reader yeah? and all those needs to fit to the corresponding part on the on the main board however you know it's not that complicated yeah? it's written it's labeled it's written also in the description of the main board plug in here HDD LED plug in here yeah? so the only thing which really get me annoyed is this is this uh, fan switch there. I simply did not use it. I want to control it by software. I'm not sure how to connect this. I'm not even sure what it is doing. So I left it. Simply plug the fans directly. This mainboard has four four ports for system fans. I only have three only <laughs> three system fans. This is sufficient. Don't need this switch there. Now I'm sticking all the needed cables to the other side of the case huh? to add to the connectors. Huh? So basically, there is this. This is the USB cable there. Yeah? There's a fitting connector for this. That's it. Yeah? These are those small cables for the power switch, for the reset switch, for the LEDs and so on. These are very tiny cables with tiny connectors. Well, doesn't really matter, right? So one after the other is going on the other side. And then I will turn the computer over and then I will use, I will plug them simply. Okay, so now the cables, I got the cables all in, yeah? now I'm going to plug those. Yeah? I start here with the fans, with the water cooling fans. Yeah? I simply started where I was sure I was doing. Yeah? Going, because then some of the cables were already plugged where they should, yeah? and did not confuse me when I'm searching for the correct port somewhere. Yeah? So the two fans, the water cooling, the CPU fans actually, uh, 
will be connected here. With every cable less, it's easier. The only thing which you can really, really plug in the wrong way are the LEDs. Uh, because the switches, you know, they are just switches, they just connect those two things. It doesn't really matter, because if left is, right, is connected to right, right is also connected to left. So this is no issue. Uh, the LEDs have a plus and a minus side. And if you plug them wrong, they simply don't light. Uh, so, what can happen? Nothing. Here, I already wonder if I used the correct the correct orientation of the of the fans of the CPU fans. I did not, yeah, of course. Yeah. If you have a chance 50-50, you are 100% certain you do it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why this is. So as you can see here, this cable here is running simply somewhere. Yeah. I have not found a proper place. However, after we plug the the graphics adapter, graphics card, it looks then decent because the graphics card is holding it down. <laughs> it's not just a graphics card, it's also cable management. Yeah, USB 3, zero connector, plug it to the mainboard, ready. Not that difficult. Card reader. I've never tried this before. I will do this after this video. The card reader is working. Would be good. Because yeah? then I can flash my Raspberry OS in the cards. It's probably the audio, I don't remember anymore. But this looks like this looks like the audio audio connector for the front panel audio connections. Maybe this is the reason why it's... No, I plug this in on the back panel. So this cable management here cannot be the reason for, for the noise. It's not a bad idea to consult the manual from time to time. Yeah. RTFM? <laughs> Just browsing through the, the booklet to see what I can connect. Okay, so I now checked all the other cables I found. So I will simply plug, simply, yes, simply, simply plug them in one by one. Yeah? So there is a drawing in the main board documentation and there is a label on the cables. So I just have to put it correct. Yeah? That's it. Like I said, the worst thing which can happen is that you just turn the LED in the wrong direction, then it's not burning, huh? not lit. There's a quite a lot of cables there, I must say. Yeah. Really, really a lot of cables. Uh, you know, there are tiny, tiny connectors. Whoever, it's like an Arduino, yeah? <laughs> like plug in an Arduino with those little tiny connectors with these pin heads and so on. Yeah, you just have to reach the right the right uh, position. That's it. Now I plug in the serial after cable. Uh, so this is the data channel to to the main board or to the to, to the hard disk drive. <sighs> I was not sure exactly where to put it. I simply chose one. Uh, I know sometimes Sometimes it's a little bit difficult, uh, because sometimes 
there's one socket which is shared by zero up and if you plug something in there you cannot plug something in there however since i have not used the chipset slot with my ssd the, the cpu slot i did not have to take care about this so i just used something yeah. then simply pull the cable through plug it into the into the hard drive data cable and try to stuff in the excessive Here you see there are quite some cables still hanging around. I wasn't exactly aware of what those are. This one cable, this one cable with uh, a lot of connectors. This is the one which is going to this drive, to this fan set. Slow, high. I did not use it. There the fans were plugged in before. He had tried to manage the cables a little bit. He had tried that they are as flat as possible, of course. That I can close the lid. This one. This one I was not sure what this is about. And then I realized, hey, that's a power supply for this top part there. And I want, they just want to add power supply. One just power supply and it's a serial other standard, so I pulled out the power cable from the from my hard disk drive here again and simply connected it. Plug it. Just select a proper one. Okay. This one now sticks out. This looks good. Long enough. Yes, long enough, and clickety-clacky, that's it. And here now, all those cables are still stuck out. So I also try to organize them a little bit better by replugging and so on, because they're pretty much... I, I, I tried not to, however, I ended up in, in mixing them and then they are crosswired and so on. Yeah, so I simply reordered them. But before, I also wanted to insert the graphics adapter. Then I realized, aha, this one is still closed. So I need to, to break this out of the box, yeah. break it out of the casing in order to reach the connections. Yeah. This is just by bending. It's pretty usual. Yeah. At least, at least it was usual 20 years ago and it seems like it's usual, it's still usual. So, I will open now a second slot there, and now, next step is then the graphics adapter. Just simply pull in in this PCI Express slot here, extension slot. Here we go. And now you see the PCI e-card, the graphics adapter, is also holding my cable for my for my fan here. Now I start to do this reconfiguration of the cables to look maybe a little bit yeah, too late. But I simply want didn't want to have the crossings and so on. So it should look at least a little bit decent, you know. Here we go. Now I really try to to get rid of all those cross wirings and so on. Now that the graphics adapter is in place, yeah, I can do this. Yeah, because now I know the main cables. Yeah, now I know the main cables. 
and I will simply do this. Yeah. Here I just use this plate. I'm not entirely sure what they are good for. I think they are good for, they should hold a, a hard disk drive, small hard disk drive. However, I just use them to fix the cable. Like I said, I'm not, this, this will not be carried around too much, so should not get to wear those cables, yeah? so the isolation will stay on. I hope the vibration is not that high. And here, now I realize, uh, damn it, I have <laughs> clamped, I have clamped the connector, the power connector for the graphic card. So I, I have to remove the graphic cards once again, uh, graphic adapter just to get out just to get out the, the cable power supply cable and then there's also one thing uh, this power supply cable had 8 pins and my, my graphic card only used 6 yeah? and I was already ah, now I have the wrong cable and uh, ah. however it turned out I can dismantle Dismantle. I can disassemble this 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 connector here. Yeah? Here, this is now my moment. Hey, six, eight, and oh, luckily for me, it falls apart. <laughs> so somebody thought of somebody like me. Yeah? Thank you, thank you. Yeah? Connected the power supply. To the graphics adapter ready okay ready ready now still quite a web there okay? so I simply order the cables now one by one okay? to have look have a better look I'm not sh entirely sure if this is really necessary. However, in my experience, if something looks good, it works better. Yeah. It doesn't mean if it doesn't look good, it does it is working bad. Yeah. It just means somebody thought about this, and if somebody thought about this, then he probably also put some thought into the function and not just in the look. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. It was already pretty late this moment in time, but now I, I sensed ooh, I could make it, I could make it, I can already try. Yeah. Originally the plan was to start or to, to, to continue on the next morning to sit on the couch, watch some stupid television show. Not that stupid television show. Just do nothing. Eh? However, now now I started to realize, hey, 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 it really comes to an end. This video was of course not shot in one take. Eh? I, I was working on this for two days. Eh? It, if you have done this once, the second time it will be already faster. I guess after you've seen this, this you will be faster again because you don't make the mistakes like putting in this uh, water cooling and so on in before and so on. There was quite some time wasted. Yeah? However, I'm glad I did this yeah? because actually I'm pretty satisfied how this thing is working yeah? and. Yeah, now I know again how modern computers are built, yeah? and not only ancient ones. Yeah? Maybe I make a video about the computers, the other computers, the last two computers I've built over there. I mean, they're 20 years, yeah? around 20 years. Yeah, we will do this. So. Close the lid on the back side.
Yeah, and this is how a computer looks like. You see, most of the parts you see are actually input and output parts. So the graphics adapter is an input and output part, the cooling stuff and so on. This is not for the function. Yeah, this is just to have it. The, the, the things which are really in there, this is the main memory. So there's four banks, the CPU under the cooler, and in between the bus system, so the chipset. Yeah, the main board. That's the computer. Everything else is optional, I would say. Yeah. Then I found also covers I want to cover I want to cover this unnecessary open slot I don't know what this is I did not open it here's the cover they are part of the delivery Oh, it's closed again. Just need to find the correct screws. Here they are. Now it's ready for a test run. Plug it in. Use a decent power socket. Pray. Turn it on, check the ventilation. Uh, realize wrong direction. Oh yeah. <laughs> so flip, flip the CPU fast. 100 degree. Ready. Yeah. But basically, you know. Basically, that's it. Basically, that's it. This is how computer is built. Yeah? It's a pretty long video, I'm sure about this. But I also thought about, should I or should I not make some chapters? So, cut it, make shorter videos. But, you know, then it's not telling not the whole story. Yeah? And what if you only see the middle part? I think it's a video, you can pause it, you can play, rewind, make it faster, whatever you like, whatever you like, okay? So, mainly, as you can see, I'm not very skilled at this. Yeah? It should not be a video how it shall be done, it should be a video how it is done by somebody who has not done this in years yeah? but is not entirely new to this just also i wanted to point out the ideas and so on i had yeah with the heat sinks and so on what to place it here and what to place it there because of the heat distribution i'm not sure if this really matters uh, however, these are just the thoughts I have in my mind when I do some stuff like this. Yeah? I try to consider things which happen, yeah? which might happen. It works. It works. Like I said, the audio issue. Somebody has an idea, tell me. Yeah? Just also looked up in my old computer where this was never an issue. There it was written uh, high definition audio. Here it's just audio. Maybe this is the reason? I don't know. I don't know. So, this was a pretty long video, right? Well, yeah, it was. Yeah? And now it's over. Thank you very much for listening and goodbye.